Denmark's new development strategy, the right to a better life, is a rights-based strategy about placing people at the center of its development cooperation, where they are not passive recipients, but central actors in charge of their own destiny. Although a relatively young country, Pakistan has, over the course of its history, been beset with numerous challenges and crises that have affected this developing nation, affecting each and every one of its 180 million people. In the past couple of years alone, the country has faced a slew of problems from natural disasters and virulent militancy to volatile governance and economic challenges. Such a context has meant that the average Pakistani has had to contend, struggle with violence, illiteracy and economic hardships in their daily lives. With an approach to development taking the individual as an integral and the main change agent, Danida initiated its development activities in Pakistan in 2010, taking a broad national approach and encompassing many of the most pressing concerns that the country faces today. Launching a $28 million three-year program, Danida's objectives have been to support the reconstruction and rehabilitation of conflict-affected areas and has thus focused on specific areas of intervention through support to both multilateral programs and civil society. Danida's program in Pakistan provides support to democracy, human rights, peace-building and humanitarian aid while recognizing gender issues as integral to reform. Through the MDTF, Danida has been able to foster economic revitalization by providing small and medium enterprise loans, develop livelihoods and community infrastructure initiate emergency rural roads projects to various agencies in FATA, improve upon health services in six districts in KPK, and promote girls' education in Balochistan. Promoting education as a key driver for eradication of poverty, Danida is working with UNICEF in supporting school improvement programs. The program focuses on establishing schools and encouraging education for vulnerable groups of children, especially girls. Education is not only a basic human right, it is also critical for socio-economic development. Danida believes in working with those who have a stake in society. It therefore aims to collaborate with state institutions as they are the duty bearers and with civil society who are the rights holders for the individual. Donor cooperation is also an important feature of Danish support, which is why Danida strives to work jointly with other donors working in Pakistan, such as the EU and Norway, to design effective programs with maximum output. Danida's local partnerships also aim to strengthen democratic institutions and instill democratic values in the youth through the support of the youth parliament, as well as advocating gender equality and women's rights and supporting victims of domestic violence, promoting human rights and humanitarian values and by sensitizing the media on gender issues, peace-building dialogues and promoting safety of journalists. For urgent relief, Danida has been intrinsic in delivering immediate and long-term humanitarian aid and relief to the people of Pakistan, who have faced many natural disasters over the last few years, being forthright in its interventions and post-crisis development activities. Hoping to see a Pakistan where its people are on the forefront of change, Danida is committed to working with all strata of society in Pakistan to address national challenges and achieve development goals.